What's going on, Capricorn? Let's deep dive, shall we, into this situation, a tower moment, crises, if you will, potentially, that has you feeling like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. And what all, oh, what's also standing out to me with this eight and nine of wands here, shout out to the Capricorns born in the year 89, is this mother-daughter situation. We see that Dorothy's eyes are covered here. Sophia's eyes aren't covered, but her head is. There's a lesson to be learned from this situation. Capricorn, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Family, this is Down to Earth Tarot. Please like, share, and subscribe for more of my daily Capricorn reads. Sorry, I missed yesterday. <laughs> um, let me know where you are watching from. Always big shout out to everyone in Michigan. And go ahead and drop your birthdays too, family. Find your twin. Shout out to the people born on the 26th. Capricorn. So we see a tower moment. You feeling stuck and trapped. But there's a lesson to be learned. There's a lesson to be learned and regarding a repeating theme. And I'm telling you, I feel like there's a connection between you and a parent or a mentor or an older person. I feel like a woman, but this is a golden girl's deck. So there's that. Shout out to the men that watch. Um, I almost feel like your mama told you to be careful about something or your grandma or somebody close to you. There's a situation that is a threat to your stability, what you've been working hard for, what you've been working hard on. And we know that we've been going through some um, really good times, Capricorn, things going very well, lots of opportunities, things like that. But it seems to be that this tower moment has a lot to do looking at the center, right? Follow me, follow me. With you getting word of something that puts you I feel like in the middle, in the middle of something. And notice how the Sophia is here where we see the two wands, but she's not in between them. Like not trying to be involved, but here somebody is trying to place the situation in your hands. I'm also wondering if this doesn't have to do with somebody who may have been your whole world or wanted you to be a part of their whole world. I almost want to clarify that. But I also want to clarify these lies that were uncovered, lies and secrets hidden feelings, could even be animosity. But um, to me, it really screams your success changed the way somebody viewed you or saw you. And, there, and, and what really stands out to me is this is a person who you felt very much in line, oh, excuse me, in line, aligned with. Like this was your person, whether this is a romantic partner or even a good friendship, business partner, like things going again, very, very well. Couldn't get any better with this 10 of cups, everything falling into place, being very much emotionally fulfilled. And then the idea that maybe you have to make a wild decision to leave someone or something behind to me with a, even a conversation. It's almost like even though you don't want to go Capricorn, really not wanting to go, you, I don't want to say you don't have a choice. Of course we all have a choice. We're all about free will over here. Um, but it's the amount of love and care that you put into something. Pouring into this thing and or this person place 
and then also pouring into your other projects. I'm feeling like whatever this that was discovered is a threat to, again, your success, your reputation, the good things that are going on right now. And to me, when I see the best friends banner, it, it really screams that needing to be careful with who you're associated with. Because there is a lot of attention on you. There are a lot of eyes on you, Capricorn. And drop those repeating numbers you've been seeing lately. Notice our repeating sixes here. Six of air and fire. And then the nines. Heavy, heavy with fire and um, earth here. I feel like while you would want to hold on to this, this situation, Capricorn, what you've worked for, okay? What you've done for yourself, what you have created, okay? Notice how we have the world here. Come on, Dorothy and Sophia, come through. Come through. You have too much going on to be caught up in some mess. I also feel like with the closing of the door of one situation, new people and opportunities are going to come in. But that we should already know. This is a distraction. This has been a distraction. But now that you know this, this, whatever this is, now that you know in your face. What is this seven of swords moment? Do I want to use these? Yeah, we'll use these. It's fine. This will be fine. What's this, all this drama associated with this seven of swords? Because there's a falling out here. And when I look at this particular five of wands, to me, it speaks to people having to pick sides. Again, wanting you to be in the middle, but you wanting to sidestep it and not be involved at all. The Seven of Swords moment. And notice how we're clarifying a seven with a seven. Some of you dealing with the cancer. Some of you dealing with a cancer or a Pisces, heavy water and the moon. Didn't we just have a full moon the other day, yesterday? Somebody drop that down below. Capricorn. Who is this person that is trying to drag you into old drama? Something that may or may not even have anything to do with you. That you cannot be a part of. And again, it's the, the secrets, the lies being discovered around it. And we're looking at this older man and this younger man here, but we only see their backs. You see that train, it's giving Thomas the tank engine, um, also that railroad bill or the chariot, also in the reverse. Somebody has refused to move on. It's giving the bitter, the angry, somebody is trying to have people pick sides and that nine, you know it's a distraction. You know that this is low vibrational and it's the repeating things for me. Listen. All we're seeing is water. If it's not a water sign person, okay? If your job doesn't have something to do with the water, you don't live next to the water, somebody has a lack of emotional maturity. They can't get over certain things. They stay in their feelings. They like the beef. They like the conflict. They like very much being in and out with this father of baskets. It's giving emotionally unstable. You recognize that somebody is emotionally unstable and the stand here in the background and you know how I feel. Shout out to my Detroit watchers. It's the stand for me. The somebody being obsessed with someone. Somebody being obsessed with something and not 
not being able to, to move on. Again, understanding that somebody, it may not even be you that's stuck. You may be realizing that somebody else is stuck, and so you're learning the lesson. Ooh. You may be watching somebody else go through something, and you are learning the lesson. Notice we see somebody making bad decisions here, okay? Or not being able to move on from something. It's giving wild soul tie. It's giving... Okay, vices. Whenever I see the lovers in reverse, it makes me think of the um, the Capricorn card in the tarot, right? The opposites, they're both sixes, depending on how you're looking at them and how our choices affect us. And the last thing that we see is our girl here, two fives. Five of water, five of fire, and this person walking away, making the choice to remove yourself, Capricorn, and really separating, separating from yourself from this person and or this group, being the thing that you need to walk away from. It's giving breaking generational curses, the being strong enough to do that. The making moves for yourself, the being having the confidence to cut ties with a situation that is no longer serving you Capricorn. And just as soon as you make that move, here come those opportunities. Everything balancing out here with this Libra energy. Capricorn, let me know it resonated for you. Like, share, and subscribe. Check out the playlist. Find me on Instagram. All of my information is down below in the description box. And Capricorns, I will be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.